The electric car was one of the first cars to be developed to the point that existed prior Almanor electric four times on which diesel, diesel engine, and auto, gasoline, based on current car, between 1832 and 1839, the exact year is uncertain. The Scottish businessman Robert Anderson invented the first pure electric vehicle. Professor Sabranda Stratting of Groningen in the Netherlands, designed and built with the help of his assistant Christopher Becker scaled down electric vehicles in 1835, improving the electric battery, by the French Gaston plant in 1865 and Camus Four in 1881, he paved the way for electric vehicles, at the World Expo 1867 in Paris. France inventor Austriaco Cravalgo showed the cycle of two-wheel electric motor. France and Britain were the first nations to support the widespread development of electric vehicles. In November 1881 French inventor Gustave Trouvé demonstrated a motor tricycle in the International Exhibition of Electricity in Paris. As a result, in 1900, 40% of American automobiles were powered by steam, 38% by electricity and the remaining 22% by the gasoline engine. Henry Ford, then an employee of Detroit Edison, was so interested in electric cars as the internal combustion engine. In 1896 he was driving an electric quad around Detroit. He met Edison, who was their leader, and showed him their plans for internal combustion engine. Edison encouraged him to keep going, even though he had his own plans for an electric vehicle. Just before 1900, before the preeminence of internal combustion engines, electric automobiles held records remarkable speed and distance, among them breaking the barrier of 100 km h, Camille Genazio April 29, 1899, which reached the top speed of 105.88 km h. Electric cars, produced in the U.S. by Anthony Electric, Baker, Detroit, Edison, Studebaker, and others during the early 20th century had relative commercial success. Due to technological limitations, the maximum speed of these early electric vehicles was limited to a 32 km h, so they were sold as a coach for the upper class and are often marketed as suitable vehicles for women because clean, quiet ride and easy to use, especially by not requiring manual starting crank if needed petrol cars of the time. In Spain the first attempts back to the figure of Emilio de la Cuadra, after a visit to the International Exhibition of Electricity for Professional Reasons. He was interested in those engines having been amazed at the races held at the Paris Bordeaux Paris circuit in 1895, through the company Sire, General Car Cars Emilio de la Quadro SNC built several prototypes of electric vehicles, however, the lack of technology and material and financial resources brought to dismiss all projects and devote a dozen cars with internal combustion engines. Under the name of La Quadra, the company closed in 1901 due to a lack of money and a strike. The introduction of the electric starter Cadillac in 1913 simplified the task of starting the internal combustion engine, which prior to this improvement was difficult and sometimes dangerous. This innovation, along with the production system assembly line massively and relatively inexpensive introduced by Ford since 1908 contributed to the downfall of electric vehicles. Besides improvements occurred faster in internal combustion vehicles to electric vehicles. In late 1930, the electric car industry completely disappeared, relegated to some very specific industrial applications such as forklifts. Introduced in 1923 by Yale, Bulls Elevator's electric battery, or more recently electric golf cars with the first 1954 Electra model.